Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate reports for all level new curriculum. How to generate reports for all level new curriculum. I'm assuming now we have put all the data, we have generated all, we have put all the marks, everything which are necessary we have put. Now time has come to generate reports. Let me first log in. Uh, logging in, here you will see the active students, as I had told you in the previous, in previous videos. You can see active students which you have but now here we have uh, students male and female and unfortunately our school uses only female it is for girls not boys in this school so how do we generate report cards you come on academic then you scroll down here you will see where there is all level report new all level reports new do you see this let's click here like this then here you will get this part which says select class for which you want to generate reports select stream select term you select the class for example senior one okay select the term which is term 3 and 24 now this part here we have generate generate all reports this is when you want to generate reports for the whole class in fact for the whole stream at once all reports for the whole stream at once if you want to do that so uh, this one they are saying use out of a template this means if at all you are uh, uh, you have you give exams which is marked out of 80 you can select this one use term report this is when you want to print the comprehensive report this one which is six pages and above as we said but the pages are, co are basing you on the content you put the competences you put the more com the, the more competences the more the pages then add term remarks uh, on that comprehensive report, you have to add the time remarks basing on the on the performance of the child and how you have seen how the, the child is performing. Those are the time remarks. Uh, single page report. Sorry, time remarks. These are report remarks for class teacher and head teacher. Uh, single page report. Uh, just in case you want to print a single page, not a comprehensive one. Uh, I have a headed paper. There are those schools which say that for us, we have a headed paper. We don't want your head, but we have a headed paper. Just want to print that catalog for marks only. So this one will come. So here, number of competencies. Uh, we put the maximum five. Just looking at that, that the maximum topic covered in a, maybe in the second layer five. So we put the maximum five. But if at all you have covered only three competencies, you put three. You put three or one or put two, depending on what, how, how many competencies you have covered. But the maximum only, if me I teach math and somebody teaches English and English they have covered the three. Mean math I've covered the two, that means the maximum is the three data in English. To avoid those three columns left on the report, how, how can you find somebody's report? Uh, they have just covered one competence and the other columns are just blank empty there. No, just leave like that. So we have to make sure the report is as smart as it's supposed to be. Then so uh, subject remarks, yes. So subject generic skills. I don't want to generic skills on my report. So I won't say uh generate report for the for all generate all reports use out of 80 because you're doing every time exam which is out of 80 then a single page then here put the number of my uh number of competences i guess put one i will show you if uh, somebody puts two and see what will happen so here i'm generating it takes a uh, some simple time because of the student are many something i mean that's why it takes time to generate but to generate just give it a few minutes has generated so you can see this is the report for one child you can see and uh, the school name box number and the rest then and uh, the report these are like as i told you if you this one this case they just covered the normal competence as you can see average identifiers descriptor out of out of 20. so here it is this competence, the more competence you cover, here we get the average and here we get the identifier. We get this number of competences, we divide whatever, whatever, then we get these competences. Ah. Then out of 8, here again we convert out of 20, then here we, we, we filter max from where it has been entered from, out of 8, it comes here, then here we add this to this to get this max here. Then the grade will come, basing on how you are grading, I think it will now go from A up to E. That's the grading scale. And the rest, we don't need to see a child who does who does not do a subject and does not appear on his what on his report. If somebody doesn't do um like what we don't want to see that appearing on his report. Let those who do appear on their report. 
So you get here we have projects, but however you guys input max for project, but you can put ah, a report has come in that format. So if at all I want to see only one, let me show you another thing. Let me show you another thing here. Now I want to show you that senior one time three. Now I say use out of it use time report like this only just like this and i put mm, i put competence maybe like two i put student exclude yes i just say submit you see this so when i said generate a report for just i'm saying for single student i have, I have not selected for the all that means you will see something like this okay this is a comprehensive report the more competence you put the more they will come the more you put, the more it will come. The more you put, the more it will come. You see? The more you put, the more it will come. Okay? The more you put, the more it will come. This is when you want to create a comprehensive report. All of them are in one system. It's up to you what you want to put. Then here you write your, your remarks like that. Teachers, they have to do this on their reports. Because this teacher best not like. Okay? Okay? So this is what I wanted to show you. I report it like this. The time has ended on. Next time begins on fees balance promoted to just in case it's time three promoted to. Okay. Now the other thing I want to show you is in a level report. Just come again on academic just say a level report. You choose a level report. So in a level, I'm going to choose a level. I choose a class. Senior five, I choose uh, uh, the stream, I choose the term. So here, I will say, generate report for the single student. Just I want for a single student, let me generate for the whole school without position and that one. Yeah, see, submit. Also, give it a report uh, time, bulk reports, you can see they will come in this format. Okay, subsidiary computer, paper. We don't, if, for example, if I'm doing sciences, then what is SST, sorry, history on my paper, on my report? That means here, we this system helps you to give combinations to students in that. Yes, the person doing the PEM, his will not appear on his report. And on his report, there should not be any gap like showing other subjects which students don't do. do. We just show only the combination. We just show the subjects which appear on the combination of that child. <clears throat> okay. Now let's see. Look, all these guys are science <clears throat> students. Look, they do mid term, they do end of term. And then, by the way, exams, it's up to you how many exams you set. The more you set, the more they appear here. Now, for example, if you look at this, here, the, let's first look. If you look at mid term, end of term. It's that this gets just really that. If I click on academic and I scroll down here, I scroll down here, I say view exam sets. Look, view exam sets. I only see this because it's what they do. But you can add as many as you want, as many as you want. You can add as many as you want. So here, they just do that one only. So, you want that. So, a report will be showing you uh, papers, will be showing you exam sets. Then this exam set will be added up to get the total. Then you get the score basing on the total. Then the comments basing on papers. Then the grade basing on scores. So this is how it is. I think just say control P. Control P. You can see it fits in paper like that. Okay. Uh, you can again look at the you can again look at the summarized generate mark sheet a level summarized click there mark sheet just click on senior five uh, here you choose the streams you can choose both or you can choose the only you want exam set i say overall marks if i say mid term i choose the term and i say score per subject this is score per subject just separate score per subject Mm -hmm. You can score per subject. Score per subject. Okay. Score per subject. 
then again I say uh, choose the stream I choose the class mm -hmm. now sciences only I choose meet end of term I just say subject analysis mm -hmm. you can see subject analysis you can see here in the subject analysis their performance those in physics most of them scored mm -hmm. those who scored a scored b scored c scored this in physics mm -hmm. those who scored kiswahili mm -hmm. those who scored the computers who scored mm -hmm. history you can see biology you can see those who scored c those who scored e okay in that format those who scored in chemistry squad like that like that like that mm -hmm. so let me look at ads uh, ads and then subject analysis let's look at this mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Kiswahili, those who scored D. Okay. In that format, those squad O. Like that. You can see that the performance analysis. So, you can deploy this system. You can even go on this demo by typing demo. Uh -huh, demo dot lesson dot co dot ug to see our demo. Uh, you put in the login details, username with admin, password is admin123, add, then you say login, our demo of this system. If you want to deploy it, you can just give me hi or a call. I will immediately reply. So this is a demo. You can This demo shows from primary, from nursery up to primary. It shows uh, because this system handles everything. So here even all modules are enabled. You can see home under staff you can see all everything you can see students everything staff you can even send staff messages just in case a school is big and you don't have them for moving from one step to, for, from one class to another but you want to communicate to another to in the class you just send this message send staff message however this system is a web application if a person is subscribed you can synchronize in his phone so that when a message is sent can reach to that person you can see in the message like alert no 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 so just come you can really understand what is going on so students you can see all these requirements in kind and everything you can view students per class per stream per whole school attendance you can view all the attendances just in case behavior you create for that shutter this is school van and the rest uh, uniform you can see, see inform store everything in store library mm -hmm. sick bay everything is there academic everything is there everything is there everything is there in academic finance everything is there in finance finance everything is there so reports you can see reports settings you can see things in reports what i'm meaning is see what's in reports you can see subject performance, staff list, behavior report, student dropout, graphic is summary, periodic dropout, mm -hmm. class attendance reason, uh, reasons for absence, and the rest, the rest, the rest, the rest. Then you can see financial report, purchase report, review student payments, general expense report, overall fees collection, periodic fees collection, subject performance. And however, our system work, we usually work with, we have clients in, uh, in Zimbabwe, in uh, Tanzania, Rwanda. So our clients, that's why you can see all these things out there. For this, the Uganda assessment, if it is for Rwanda, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, you can see. Okay. Please subscribe. Don't be a person who is no heart. Just subscribe for me. Just to promote my YouTube channel. Please, please, please. Thank you.